So I've been studying Lester Flatt's playing lately, especially listening to the old recordings he made with Bill Monroe in the late 40s, when uh, he and Earl Scruggs and Bill Monroe were inventing bluegrass, essentially. Anyway, he's got an incredibly great driving style that if you really listen to those recordings carefully, it's just super hard driving. And it, uh, so the way Lester Flatt played his G, I was especially looking at this G run that he does. He just plays his G with two fingers, just alternating between the sixth fret, the sixth string and the fourth string. Of course, it's unusual. Most people play with a flat pick. Lester Flatt played with a thumb pick and a single finger pick on his index. Here comes the G run. It's not the whole, the way you'll hear some people do it, it's quite stripped down. So it's a down stroke on the fifth string, second fret, up stroke with the index finger on that open D string, and then this is what's called a rest stroke, so you just play it right through that D string that's on the second fret, and he's pulling off while it's resting on the next string. There are many videos of Lester Flat playing if you search around YouTube. And his playing style, it's really hard to figure out because his hand just seems to like flow back and forth over those strings. But when you just use your ear, it's just such a hard driving sound. He's sort of the um, Freddie Green of bluegrass. It's got that same drive to it. I wonder if he listened to Freddie Green, I don't know. 